Great question. So where does this myth of Vikings having horned helmets come from? So if you don't know already, Vikings didn't wear horned helmets. There's zero evidence for that and no Viking horned helmets have ever been excavated. In fact, only one complete helmet that can definitely be called a Viking helmet has ever been discovered in Jarmundbu, north of Oslo in Norway. It was from the 10th century and it had a rounded iron cap, a guard around the eyes and nose and no horns. So where does this myth actually come from? It dates back to the 1800s when the Swedish artist Gustav Mainström included horns on Viking helmets in his portrayal of them to make them look more menacing. And in the 1870s when Richard Wagner staged his Der Ring des Nibelungen, which was a cycle of four German language epic music dramas. And it was at that opera cycle that the costume designer Carl Emil Döppla created the horned helmets for the Viking characters. And it was from there that the stereotype was really blown up. Malmström and Döppla may have been inspired by the 19th century discoveries of ancient horned helmets, which later turned out to predate the Vikings. Also, ancient Greek and Roman chroniclers described northern Europeans wearing helmets adorned with all manner of ornaments, including horns, wings and antlers. And they did wear those, but they stopped wearing them at least a century before the Vikings appeared. They would likely only use them for ceremonial purposes. And it was only worn by their priests. And the thing you have to understand, horned helmets would be very impractical in actual combat. Yes, they would intimidate the enemies, but they could get stuck on a tree branch, an enemy could pull your helmet off you by the horns, and overall they'd just be too clumsy. Vikings relied on speed and agility a lot, and also in quick hit and run tactics. And they generally wear armor and weapons that wouldn't make them too encumbered. Another theory is most information we got from the Vikings was written by English monks, which obviously demonized the Vikings, since a lot of the times they were their victims. And back then, people thought that the Vikings were a punishment sent by God himself, or that they were sent straight from the devil himself, who is oftentimes depicted with horns on his head. This is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe.